this is your courthouse case of the week. And welcome to the Courthouse Case of the Week portion of the Pioneer Silent. I am Justin LaBar. It's been a pretty good show so far. We had Kristen Zelenka earlier from softball. We did a little baseball talk and let the, uh, let the sideline truth be out in force with myself and the Joshes, who we welcome back in, plus a professor. Guys, how are you doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. How are you doing since uh, Pitt's no longer in the tournament? How I'm are you doing? still wonderful. I You're cried a little wonderful. bit, but I'm still wonderful. You Just even bought a new suit because you feel so good. This, this is the same one, but no, it's a, <laughs> But I'm so wonderful because this guy was wrong on three occasions. And and he's going to make me bring in. out some stuff too, by the way. Yeah. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Before, the, before, before the bell rings there, gents, uh, we're looking at <laughs> 10, 9, and 6. That's 10 for Eisenberg, 9 for Fakedic, and 6 for Makes Dr. Sense. Barry on your courthouse. Uh, your courthouse uh, tavern scoreboard there. All right, guys, final four is as follows. Uh, we got Connecticut, the number one seed, going up against the number two seed, Michigan State. So we got a Big East versus a Big Ten matchup. And then on the other side, we got North Carolina representing the ACC up against Villanova, the three seed out of the Big East. And, of course, North Carolina beating Oklahoma this past weekend. Blake Griffin, great game, 23 points, 16 boards. The other big man, Hansborough, only eight points, but uh, it was a team effort for the Tar Heels, and then uh, Sam Young on the pit side of things, losing to Villanova, Sam Young 28 points, but again, uh, a, a team effort for Villanova. So yeah. guys, we'll look yeah. at the Final Four, uh, what do we think? Go ahead, Mr. Critic. Well, Go ahead. it's an interesting Final Four to say the least. I mean, you had a Big Ten team, a, a couple Big East teams, an ACC team, and the one team I would think out of all of them that I don't think anyone thought was going to make it as far as they did was Michigan State, yeah. beating a very, very good Louisville team. And kudos to Tom Izzo for playing Louisville's game and beating them at it. They did not let them break the press. This is Michigan State. They did not break the press and then set up in a half-court game. What they did was break the press and then go score two, and that's what they needed to do because if Michigan State would have held at that half-court game, they would have played right into Louisville's hands. Michigan State flat out outplayed them in the second half going off at the start of that second half and scoring points what nobody thought they were going to do. Yeah, but I have to disagree with you because Michigan State played their game. They played a defensive set game. You had Louisville with 100-plus points over Arizona. Now, mind you, Arizona's a Pac-10 team, so they rarely play defense anyway. But now you have a team like Louisville who's capable of putting up 104, 105 points. Michigan State... Did a fantastic job. Sue Tom was inside the entire game. Didn't give anybody. Um, you could tell Louisville's a lot more athletic, a lot quicker. But Michigan State, like you said, played that half-court game. Played a really good 2-3 zone pretty much the entire game. Switched up the man just a little bit in the second half. But you could tell Tom Izzo knew what he was doing and did a fantastic job shutting down Louisville's big men. Well, my surprise team actually is Villanova. You know, I, I didn't think anyone was going to believe that they were going to get there. The, thing, the key from that game was is free throw making. It Cursed Memphis last year, and it hurt Pitt this year. Villanova was 22 mm -hmm. of 23 from free throws. Pitt was 21 of 29. You had a couple more on there. We're and, talking. A and Jay, game. that missed free throw, if I remember, right? that came towards the end because I remember yeah. at a point it was like 18 for 18 from yeah, the. Yeah, they field. were going to set the record, mm -hmm. and then they missed one right as soon as. They were 21 of 21, and 22 okay. straight was the record.